Denzel, that was an incredible fight. You said to expect fireworks and you were both firing from round one. How did it feel to be in it? It felt good, it felt good. Um, you caught me around the back of the head a little bit and I thought, oh, leg's gone. Um, but obviously I, I, I regrouped and I got back there and I just let my shots go and when I landed, I knew they were hurting. I felt them on the knuckle. He hurt you at all? He did hurt you a bit? Yeah, he hit me around the back of the head so it kind of threw me off a bit. I thought, okay, but he does have power, he carries power. So I had to, you know, my corner kept telling me to kick, kick them hands up. He had a good left hook and a good backhand, like, but he was putting it right in there. So I had to be careful. When I laid my shots, I had to make sure we felt them so we can back up a bit. But listen, tough guy, man. Strong. He's only been stopped that super middle. So I'm happy I'm the first middleweight to stop him. And it's a pleasure, you know, being in the corner with guys like Andy Carroll, Scott Quigg and Joe Gallagher himself. And, you know, getting a W against them and obviously Marcus Morrison. He came out guns blazing. We thought he would because that was obviously the success route of Felix Cash. Yeah, yeah. You went with him this time. You went faster. Talk me through that process. Because I'm an animal. <laughs> no, I'm playing. No, but I, we knew he was going to come fast. We know every fight we get in there now is going to look at Felix Cash as a blueprint. So, you know, we've got to do something about it. So we've been in the gym preparing for everyone that, that comes with a fast start. And as you can see, it, it, it paid off today. It worked. And now you've had two incredible fights back to back yep. since that loss against yep. Felix Cash. How much have you grown as a fighter over the last year or so? I've grown a lot. I've grown a lot. Um, I've been in the gym. Before the cash loss, I felt like I was doing everything I could. After I lost a race, I could do more. And now I'm doing more. And because I know I can do more, I'm even going to try and do more than that now. So I want to push on. Of course, every boxer's aspirations in the sport to be a world champion. And I, of course, want to be a world champion. And I know I can't do that by, do, by doing the bare minimum. So I've got to be in there, you know, getting rid of guys like feet, um, Marcus Morrison, putting on a good show and excelling in my training every single time I step in the gym. And you said you wanted to use this as a yardstick. You yeah. stopped him where Chris Eubank Jr. couldn't. Yeah. What does that mean to you? It means I hit harder than Chris Eubank Jr. <laughs> and that would be a great fight down the line. Excellent. Well, congratulations. The Lonsdale belt stays with you again. Thank well you. done. And still. <laughs> Back to you, Paul.